today I'm very excited because I'm sitting with Ricky, my friend, also known as the Prince of Travel. So the Prince of Travel is a media collective that teaches you how to travel better and travel in luxury using the credit cards reward systems. Okay, so we're spending this week on the East Coast, two days in Toronto, two days in Montreal. Just got off a red-eye flight from Vancouver, and it's a super busy day, downtown Toronto, good to be back. Just had coffee back at Dineen, and now we're going up to Young and Dundas, doing a podcast, 9.30 a.m., bright and early, with our friend Hafu Go. First of all, congratulations on coming up with the name for, yeah. for the podcast, yeah. uh, Go Beyond, really exciting. Happy to be here. Um, mm. I'm Ricky, I'm the founder of Prince of Travel. We're all about helping people travel better, helping people unlock elevated travel experiences by maximizing the credit card reward. And if you're a little from American Airlines, luck is really good. Right, good luck with that. <laughs> 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 yeah. That was super fun. Good to see some of the team members. We've got a nice little contingent out here in Toronto. Some of the members as well. Good to invite them to a drink. Everybody hangs out. Now we're gonna go catch up with some friends from high school. Some good company to end the night. with Cantomando and Hafu and about half an hour of rest before we're heading to the BMZ over at Ryerson checking out a startup company here in Toronto. Really interesting company. They allow people to pay rent with a credit card. So we're gonna go speak to the team a little bit, learn a little bit more about what they do. So I used to live basically right here. This is the Ramada Hotel and this, this building. Oh, the Ramada Hotel's gone. This building is where I used to live yeah. back in the days. Like we just had lunch with some people who are like, and we're talking about some of the good cards out there. And uh, and yeah, just I keep bringing you guys up because yeah, I keep having this conversation. It's yeah. hard to meet this band, but there's now a service that lets you pay rent yeah. with credit card. Yeah. I have a question for you actually. So, you know, we spent some time getting to better understand the training community. I would uh -huh. say we obviously don't know them as well as you do. Um, just to inform if we should even get into the direction that we're taking as a company, because we are kind of like a rental company, first and uh -huh. foremost. We started off with the payments, yeah. and obviously with credit cards, and I think that's why we're talking today. Yeah. But if that same community has interest, like, you know, just not because... I'm in Toronto and I'm making the trip over to Montreal. But today it's not just me, it's the rest of the team and we're racing to Montreal to find out which mode of transportation is the fastest and the best experience. Day three of the trip, we made our way from Toronto to Montreal in the morning. We took the flight over from Billy Bishop. Two days here going into the weekend. It'll be fun to catch up with some old friends, check out the old haunts and check out a few new hotels as well. First stop, the Four Seasons.
really is incredible waking up in the morning, opening up these blackout curtains and seeing this magnificent view of Montreal, Crescent Street down there, Leonard Cohen mural up there. Quite a bit of nostalgia here looking out at Montreal. I remember a couple of years we were just having drinks on the patio over there looking at the same Leonard Cohen mural. And here I am in this, uh, this pretty amazing hotel room checking it out. So the last couple of days, lots of socializing. I'm a little bit burned out from that. Today I think we're just gonna take it easy, wander around the city, rediscover some old favorite haunts, and yeah, maybe check out Mont Royal as well. Go for a hike. This is one of those Chinese noodle haunts, right? Actually, every city has them, but here in Montreal, back where we lived here, this is one of our favorites, pretty close to McGill campus, where uh, we're just used to go, pretty close to where we lived, and so, the same as before, two bowls of classic Lanzhou noodles, medium. All right, so Jesse's asked me to go get some bagels to bring home. When we used to live here, saint Vieux bagels was always one of our favorites, so gotta go pick up a few bags, and now we're on our way. This place is famously cash only, and you know, despite how we all feel about paying with cash, some things are worth it. Sometimes you just gotta catch the game. Uh, while you're also walking around. This is live, we're losing right now, but we're gonna win the league. By the time this is published, we'll know if, you'll probably know if we've won the league. Always nice to be back here at McGill campus. Jesse used to go here and we used to go on these long walks over here on the, on the outdoor fields and check out some of the Hogwarts-like buildings. And we're now on our way up to the top of Mont Royal. It'll be good to revisit that as well. Okay. You ready for some steps? All the way up. It's always cool to come back to Toronto and Montreal. Toronto I lived for six years or so and Montreal for one year. Now living in Vancouver, it is quite different, but still good to reminisce and look back with nostalgia. And Toronto is just super busy, right? Always in the heart of the action. Lots of people to meet up with, lots of stuff happening downtown. And uh, you never really get a moment to catch your breath. And over here in Montreal, it's a little bit more slow paced. I always have the opportunity to come out to Mont Royal, enjoy the views. Really nice campus around McGill as well. And earlier we're getting bagels, we're getting Portuguese chicken over in the neighborhoods. Always really enjoyable. And it's been a quick trip out here to the East Coast, but tomorrow heading back to Vancouver, where it really is quite different. Again, more chill, more outdoorsy, nice little entrepreneurial enclave over there, really enjoying the community too. So over the years, it's been quite an adventure moving around Canada, and it's, uh, it's always fun to revisit some of the old stomping grounds.